Hello friends, come on in. This is Deb with Art and Grace and I am here today for Deborah with Splash of Paint. So you're not seeing this wrong, don't leave yet. Just come on in and say, hey, we are supporting our friend today while she is away with family. So let's do all the things for her. Get this sprinkled out and be sure you comment, give hearts, all the things so we can help her page. If you are watching the replay, if you'll put hashtag replay, I don't think she will be getting back with you today or tomorrow, but when she is able, I know she'll go through the comments. So feel free to leave her any sweet words and all the things. If you are watching me on my page, awesome. We are here on both. So I'm here as Art and Grace, but for Deborah with Splash of Paint. So a little bit confusing, but hopefully you guys are going to pop in and join today while we support our friend. I'm not seeing comments, so I, so I'm kind of playing around to see if anybody's here. Let me, let me try going to her page. And check that way if you guys are commenting thank you hopefully I'll be able to see them once I get over here and I do awesome okay there we go hey Vicki hey Donna Deb hi VIP in the house awesome hi Sydney okay thank y'all for being here if you'll help me get out because because I'm coming live on her page it did not let me sprinkle to all the places I normally do so if y'all would do that for me that would be fantastic I'm going to see what I can do from here. You guys, I hope you're having a great Tuesday. We are going to make this a happy day, even though I know she's dealing with some heavy things. And um, we just want to be praying for her, wishing her our best. But uh, we're going to keep her page going and keep the algorithm up. So by you guys being here and doing all the things, that will help. And I appreciate it. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Vicki. Splash the paint. Thanks, Susan. You guys are awesome. And she'll see these comments about what you did for her when she gets back. So thank you for doing that. All right, let's get going. Um, I love to paint, and I know Deborah does too. So we'll do um, a pretty simple little chapel. And if we can do it quick enough, we're going to add some glass and resin. But we'll just see how things go with time. I don't want to take too much time today. But I'm excited to be here and, and help her out, even though it's a, a sad reason. But, you know, crafting community comes together absolutely when anything happens. And we're always going to step in and support each other. That's right. Oh, I love that, Stacy. Okay, so I'm putting out a few colors for my background. This is a new one that I started using, French Gray Blue. It is so pretty for winter. Now, I know it's 110 degrees outside, but it is Christmas in July here, right? So we're going to put out our, or I'm putting out some of my fall colors. Oh, hi, Liz. Glad you're here. You just uh, put those headbutt earbuds in and keep pecking away on your work computer. But we know you're here, right? So I'm going to put some a lot of white on my brush. I've got a flat brush, and I'm pulling some of this blue and then just a touch of that gray. And this is going to be our background. We can get it on there nice and smooth because I've already put my multi-purpose sealer, which is a sealer that seals your wood before painting. So you can probably see how smoothly my paint is going on as opposed to it soaking down into the wood. So I put two coats of this first, and that preps my wood, gets it ready for accepting the paint. And you'll have much better outcomes if you do this. I, I never would use resin on my art without doing this step. So it's uh, smart to do. You guys let me know. Oh, hey, Levada, thank you for sprinkling for Miss Deb. Appreciate it. I know she will too. And I told everybody, go ahead and leave any comments you have for her. She'll read them when she can. And I'm sure it'll be a comfort and a, you know, nice for her to read. Maybe, I don't know how long it'll be, guys. So don't expect a reply. But, um, you know, when you're driving or riding in the car and you can kind of look over, it's kind of nice to, to do things like that. I am going to bring this color on the sides. And we'll be adding more white, but I want to get a good 
coat of this pretty blue first. You'll see why. It adds a lot. Oh, good. Well, I hope so. I I miss having ever, you know, I feel like when I can see you guys, you can see me. And, you know, it's kind of cool that way, too. However, I'm here to teach people how to paint. So my focus has to be on you guys seeing. And I don't think, you know, you, can't, you just can't see as well if you're far away. And until I have a better system, this is what I'm doing. Um, it's working. And every now and then I'll go live with just, you know, I'm on the camera too. But I think everybody knows what I look like. <laughs> so um, it's okay to just focus on the part painting. Oops, I got a lot of blue. I'm going to come back and grab some white. Hi, Tricia. How are you today? Happy Tuesday. You guys let me know if you are having a good week. Hopefully, Monday wasn't too bad for you and you made it to Tuesday. And that's how we do it, one day at a time. And the bad times are going to come, but we get through them one day at a time, right? I'm going to dry this with my heat tool, and then we will add a little more white. So... This is a Christmas in July, so we do want it to look wintry and, um, you know, like it's freezing outside. Which, to me, I always think of snow and I think of um, this gray, kind of gray-blue sky. Hello, Celeste. Good to see you, my friend. Again, I'm using a wood base. It's 6 by 12, and I did prep it with some multi-purpose sealer. It will seal your wood so that your paint doesn't just soak into the wood and just gets it primed and ready. And I am a DecoArt affiliate, so I love their paints, and so it works perfectly with DecoArt paints. If you don't use it or you don't want to purchase that, I do still recommend using some type of, um, of sealer, pre-sealer before you prep your wood or before you paint your wood. It just will really help, I promise. You don't want it just all soaking down into the wood. Hey, Judy Berg, glad you're here today. Tina, thank you for that. I appreciate, I know she will appreciate reading these. You know, sometimes even if, and I know Deborah is really good about replying to comments too. I do too. But, um, you know, even if she doesn't reply, she may still get to read it as she's, you know, driving or riding in the car, things like that. So it will lift her spirits, I'm sure. And it just takes, uh, takes a little bit of the pressure off to know that people are keeping your page going and everything. And so when you guys watch replays for her, that's fantastic too. Okay, so we've got a little snowy look on the ground. We've got kind of a snowy background. It, I like it kind of streaky. You can also do X motions. So let me get my brush a little wetter. You can come in there with your blues and whites and also kind of do like this, like an X motion. And that gives you a really cool background too. So either way, I'm going to kind of blend that a little bit. And if it starts rubbing and sticking and not wanting to, to move smoothly, just get your brush a little wetter. You guys that live where the snow is, I'm a little jealous. I live where the heat is. I'm in South Fort Worth, so we have 103 today. What is the temperature like where you guys are at? Is it Le Liana Roberts? Let me know how to pronounce that. I don't want to say it wrong. Oh, you were, Judy. My brother used to live in Grapevine. 
That has grown, hadn't it? Lawana, I think, but I want to know if I'm saying it right. Hey, Sheila, glad you're here. Okay, guys, let's see. I think that's good. Let me try this just step by step, you guys. So if you're thinking, you know, I know when you guys pop on this page, whether you're here for me or for Deborah, um, you're, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, I could never do that. I can't paint. Yes, you can. You just watch our videos step by step, pause it, and do the next step. La Gina. Oh, La Gina. How pretty. Oh, I love that. La Gina. I've never heard that. 90 now. It's been in the hundreds. Yes, Janice. Well, 90, man, it, that feels nice, doesn't it? It's like go have a picnic. Hey, Christy says 89 in Illinois. That's hot for Illinois. I just. That's hot. Oh, by the way, when I get these wood bases and when you purchase a wood base, be sure you take a sand, a little sandpaper, and this is a fine grit, and just lightly go over it and then wipe it off with your towel really well. I did do that first before I even put my sealer. That was the second step. So I did forget, but this was sitting here and I thought I better tell y'all just in case. Okay, pencil, pencil, pencil. Where is my pencil? Um, I bet I carried it off. I don't see it. Okay, we're going to have to do this with paint. Interesting. Maybe I should have more than one pencil for a time like this. Okay, so we're going to draw our little chapel with paint. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this just a little bit for one second while I, while I kind of draw this out. Let me think a minute how close I want it. I'm going to try to be somewhat neat, although we can fix it with paint if I am not neat enough. What I like about a pencil is you can take it and you can come right down the center, you know, um, and kind of make your mark, but I'm just going to do that and come to that mark. Now this is a whimsical painting, and I think Deborah does that as well, so um, it does not need to be perfect. It's okay if it's wonky, you know, um, it gives it character, and we want to have fun with art. We don't want to stress out. If you've painted and you got frustrated and you're like, I just can't paint, I'll stick with crafts. It could be because you were doing fine art or trying to do fine art. I can't do fine art either. It stresses me out, and, and I'm here to have fun with art. So I stick to these fun, whimsical paintings that are very forgiving. So make a point up here at the top, and then you can connect like so. Come on, come on. Hot, hot, hot in Alabama. Ooh, Tina, 86. That's low, isn't it? And Sassy Press, 90. Ooh, with 56 humidity. Oh, that's gross, isn't it? I hate humidity. Okay, and then we'll do a little cross at the top. I'm going to sketch it on just lightly so that I don't forget, you know, get hurried. And, okay. All right. That is all we need to do to get started is get some little sketch put on here. Now I'm going to make a gray, so just take your white and be sure and tell Deborah in the comments um, if you sprinkled. Sometimes she, we can tell, but sometimes we can't. It depends on where you sprinkle it to. So I do like for people to tell me so that I can thank them and, you know, sometimes you sprinkle to a group and we'll go check it out, you know, so um, let her know if you did and you haven't. So I'm taking that white. Actually, I probably will use all this white, come to think of it. And a little bit of this black, a little bit of this bluish gray, and let's get a gray going. This is what my underpainting will be for part of it. And I say underpainting, we've got an underpainting, but I'm going to use this with my white on my brush. Okay. 
I am going to load this up and I just did it I just did what I was going to tell y'all try not to do so if you'll take your brush and come in here and load it up and you're going back and forth so this way and then this way back and forth then you're getting that paint loaded into your brush but don't bring it all the way down to the ferrule this metal part um, this will keep your brush clean and not get paint stuck up in those bristles it's so hard to get it out once you do and then I grabbed my white and we're just going to come through here and we are going to go side to side on this so that it hopefully will help it look like painted siding right so where you pick up your brush and bring it back it will kind of have that look and I'm trying not to over blend but just get this on here again it doesn't have to be perfect it's only 90 feels like 98 and only fi only 55 55 that's awful oh Inga thank you she'll appreciate it oh Rose it's my pleasure I appreciate she would do the same for me you know that's the thing is is this one I can go straight up and down uh, the people in the crafting community care about each other and we understand the pressure of keeping your page going um, you know I have a lot of back issues and cannot go live some days I don't even some days I have it scheduled to go live but then I can't and we fret you know because we get notices from Facebook that our page isn't doing well and this by doing this for each other it helps us not to we can take a break a break and not worry about it and that's the last thing she needs to worry about right so just white on this part and then I'm going to go ahead and do trying to think how I want to do this um, let me think a second I think I want to do a little roof so let me do this roof gray so like this and I'm going to get a little more of that black to make some gray just like that let's do this part in that gray I'm letting it you know we've got some white in there so it can blend with that it's just fine you can use an angle brush for this but I am just I grabbed my flat so I'm comfortable with that I can do it but whatever brush you have and prefer is what you should use brushes do make a difference I do like you know not an expensive brush but a good brush so they're sometimes hard to find I've tried a lot of them ninety eight feels like one oh five Betty you're close to me so my son is over in Addison he's kinda close to you and I'm in South Fort Worth so it is hot it does it feels so much hotter when, especially when you go in the car right yes I'm sure she does I'm sure she does okay now I'm gonna pick up a lot of white so I'm gonna kind of clean my brush a little bit I'm not getting it wet just getting most of that off and we're gonna do a lot of white here but I am going in a side-to-side -side motion with a nice clean flat brush and this is probably about it's bigger than a quarter smaller than a half it is a number eight but each brand is gonna be a little different when it comes to that let me also I wish I had my pencil but I'm gonna just for my own to get my bearings on this I'm gonna figure out where I want a window so this going down this is about center so when you're sketching out your design that's about center so we know we want our window up here in the center Okay. and then we have a door like so and then we'll have our stained glass windows and I'll do some kind of skinny like this I 
something like that okay I just had to get a feel for where everything's gonna be now I'll probably be going right over that but at least it gives me a place to start I'm gonna start over here on one end and I'm gonna try to make it all the way to the other end so I loaded up my brush pretty good there we go and I'm gonna go back that's our first swap we're gonna do it again so we load it up really well back and forth and then start again and I'm gonna start again right under just right under what we have there so I hope there's just the tiniest of space in between and then we come back and this kind of makes our wood slats or our wood look load it up again same thing you're just gonna do this all the way down load it up have y'all been to a little church like this like a little chapel in the woods or um, we used to live in West Texas and there was a, a little church on the way to where we lived that reminded me of this and it had a neon sign and I remember the first time I saw it I thought the it was weird to have a neon sign but you know I see why because in the country you know you need something that people that are looking for it need to see it but um, I love chapels I always want to pull over and look at them if we travel they're so cool and the history and I always feel like I can just hear people singing hymns in there you know back and forth your grandma used to take me to one oh don't you love that Kimmery it's like good memories when you see a chapel of better days in my opinion <laughs> You know, um, the world is so different. It just is so different. And so by painting these or visiting one, it kind of has a, a really nostalgic, sweet feeling. And we're not going back, unfortunately, but we can remember the good days, right? The good old days. We still have good days now, but these are some good memories. Going to church with grandparents and things. Showing how you figure. Oh, thanks, Christy. You know, um, I love to teach and I love to break it down uh, so that anybody can do it. And like I said, just pause the video, catch up. That's how you learn, you know, is just follow along. And if I go faster than you're ready for, then you just pause the video, catch up, go to the next. All the way down. I think that's good we can always have our snow come up higher this was just kind of you know our guideline here and we're gonna need to have a pathway coming up to the walk there okay now I'm gonna take this white and I'm just gonna go ahead and make my door where it's visible again because you know I kind of lost it doing that and same for my little windows I don't want to lose the shape churches I know it's so true Kimmery oh my goodness it breaks my heart now I understand it I understand that we we change with the culture it's just like we don't sing the old western songs anymore like you know back in the so I get how as society changes everything changes you know but it does really make me sad and I just love hymns <laughs> Um, but you know 
I mean, I can still listen to them. Like, that's what I always say if someone at church complains. Like, we can still listen to them. It's not that we just listen at church. You can turn on your your music and find find them on the Internet for sure. And they're everywhere. They're YouTube, anywhere you look. So, no excuse not to still hear them. But it is. it would be fun to still sing them in church. It just... I mean, we still do, just not like what we grew up with, of course. And I love the new music, too. And then we had a little window here. I don't know if this was the exact shape, but that's okay. doesn't have to be. Okay, so we kind of got our design back now. Now... That is drying. I'm going to work on this top part again. So let's go back over it. And I'm doing the same back and forth. There's a church in Kentucky that's super small. Only room for four pews. <gasps> what? <laughs> four pews? Well, I guess that's that probably fits ten people on each pew, right? Or so. When you said four pews, I was picturing super tiny. But pews are bigger than... So that's 40 people. And in a country church, you know, that would be probably all they'd have at a funeral like or a wedding when they have a big crowd. We have a pretty large uh, church building, but we have a very small church. Like we are down to probably 40, 50 people, but we're in a building that we have had for close to 50 years. And um, it is... You know, we went through the 80s where everybody was in church. And after COVID, you know, a lot of people haven't come back. So it's just down and down like a lot of churches in America. Okay. I think we need to define that a little bit. So let me grab some white paint. We're going to use a little of the blue and a little of the black. Probably put too much offload that and then I'm going to put some in kind of between our slats here just using the edge of my brush you know my going vertical with my flat brush so you've got kind of that clean edge just like that I think I'm going to darken that up and do the same thing on my roof. So now that's a little darker than I, the roof color. And let's do that right across here. Oh, okay. Very old stones. Oh, that's neat though. There's a really pretty chapel at Magnolia, you know, in Waco at the silos where Joe and Chip have their facilities and I love going there I've been there a few times and it's really pretty and Ron and I will just sit there he'll walk up there like he's going to preach it's really funny um, it's just a really cool old chapel but you just feel like you can picture the people you know what is y'all's favorite hymn We had the event the other day where we, um, you know, chose a Christmas song and did a craft. And some of y'all probably saw that. Um, but I love getting to hear everybody's favorite songs. I'm going to um, put out just a little more white. And we're going to go back over our slats now that they're dry. But I am offloading a lot. So you load your paintbrush really well. But then offload it so that there's not a whole lot of paint on it. And just go one more time over these slats and I'm kind of using a feathery touch so that I don't put too much paint just had VBS you had 30 oh that's good Rosie oh wow that's a lot that's a big community you could have had more but you know that's just the thing is parents are working they um, you know they don't have a way to get them there or whatever there's all kind of reasons but 
VBS always used to be so big at our churches, and even that has, you know, declined greatly. I love, 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 or loved, you know, um, decorating for VBS and everything. We always had contests and just fun between the workers, you know. We would kind of go all out for the kiddos and make it really fun and transform our rooms into like a jungle or a spaceship or whatever the theme was. The whole county? You only had that view for the whole county? Is that what you're saying? 30 to 36 in a county of 50. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, well, then that's a good number for your church, if the whole county. Okay, gotcha. You did? Oh, what kind of stuff did you do? Did you do fun food or just regular finger foods? Because um, that's another thing we would do, like make bugs out of the pretzels and, you know what I mean, like make the food kind of match the theme and So I'm really just dry brushing some of this white right on top of what we've already done. We're about to move on, so hang with me. Don't give up yet. Trust the process, right? Okay. I know, Christy, I still have memories mainly of my kids, you know, little and doing VBS. So I always taught, and if I wasn't their teacher, then they'd come run up to me, you know, during walking down the hall or whatever. Okay, I'm going to take that same gray, and I'm going to line my top with it, too. Maybe just a little white with it. So, loading it back and forth so that I get that nice, clean, straight line. Can you all see that? You can really do a lot with this one brush if you've got a good brush. So we're just going to go right down this little row here. Kind of give that a little line. Like so. You were in charge of, aw, <laughs> the snack room. Amazing Grace. Oh, did anybody else answer me for your favorite hymn? I didn't see anybody else. The Old Rugged Cross. That's all, oh, such a good one. And doesn't it seem like one they would sing here? Okay, we got more people on, so y'all let me know what's your favorite hymn. Or if you don't have one, maybe your grandmother or your mother had one. Okay, let's move on. We'll let this rest. We're going to do a door and windows. I'm getting it. Oops, that's not brown. Getting out some dark brown. Use whatever brown you have. This is burnt umber, so just kind of a medium to dark brown. And then I've got a little black on my palette. I probably could use just another clean dot. I'm going to take that brown and move a little over with a little white, not too much. I don't want it too light, but we'll use that as also another color. So I'm going to take that brown and kind of load it up and then tip that brush into my black and then we're going to do the door. And if you'll just curve your brush around, it kind of does it for you. See that? And just fill it in. But everything I do kind of goes with the shape of the item. So as you see, I'm kind of curving the door around and it helps it to end up looking more like wood. Do that again. So grab your black, I mean your brown, touch a black just on the tip. Kind of reload. Like so. And just drag it up a little bit. 
and then I'll take this brush with a little black on it on the tip and put some streaks into this door so just like this up and down streak that door just let that sit there I'm wiping off my brush on a paper towel but not water just paper towel and then I'm grabbing some of this lighter color so brown with a little white and we're gonna put that in the door also just up and down stripes this time I'm kind of blending with the black and the brown that's already there and now it should look a little more like wood let me hold that up and show you can y'all see that you make it look so easy I'm just not oh Donna you can do it I know, I know, I do have a lot more practice than you guys, so don't feel bad if the very first time you try something, it's hard, you know, or you can't do it, especially because I'm real bad about going, this is easy, this is easy, but it's only because I want you guys to try, and once you do it a few times, it is easy, you'll see, but um, just pause the video and do the step I tell you, and then start the video and do the next step. That's the best way, is to just pause because I am obviously going to go way too fast for somebody who is not used to painting. I'm kind of cleaning up this door, so we'll put another coat of this brown down here at the very base. But I kind of let this sit and not do too much to it so that it can... I don't want to blend it. Oh, that's a good one, Brookie. I love that one. Oh, is that Deborah? Is that Deborah on here? Or is somebody else an admin commenting? Oh, Deborah, I'm so glad you popped in, friend. We are praying for you and your family. You sure didn't have to be here, though. I knew. We got you covered. Everybody's commenting and sharing to keep your page happening. Okay. Now let's go on and do windows. I'm going to use a little pink and a little blue because that's just my colors. You can use anything. I've done them all kind of colors. I've done them kind of gold and yellowy as if sun was coming through. Um, I've done stained glass, just whatever. I'm, I'm going to put out a little more of this blue. I don't want it gray. I want the blue. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Okay. I'm going to grab a smaller, that's probably a little large, let me grab an even smaller brush, because this is going to need to be some small pieces, I'll just take this flat brush, got another really small flat brush, and I'm going to take some of the white to mix with my pink, because that's too dark, I'm just making a light pink, and then I think I'm going to do the same with the blue, let me just see, I kind of like that blue, but I am going to add just a little white to it. And we're going to just tap it in kind of random places. We have some tricks up our sleeve for these windows. Okay, Deborah, we love you. Take care. See, I'm glad y'all are commenting and sprinkling this video for her <laughs> so she knows not to worry. She's in good hands. Okay, so let's add some of our pink in here. I'm not going to touch the blue so that we don't wind up with purple over all of this. But Y'all knew I was going to find a way to get my colors in here right. I love doing really bright colors, but some, you know, on chapels, things like that, you kind of, I don't want to go too crazy. And then just kind of clean it up a little however you like it to look. You can use other colors. You don't have to use these. Thanks, Stacy. 
I love that. That's okay, Patty. I understand, girl. Glad you're here. Thank you. We got lots more to do. I'm going to take my brush and grab that black. This is the perfect brush for my little door handle I'm doing. I'm doing the up and down kind. So, ooh, I should split it in half. Let's split it in half. I was going to put one of those up and down doorknobs here, but let's do it in half. So if you'll get that brush again really nice and straight. And then just split your door in half. Let me, let me turn this way a little bit. like that. And we can always clean that up if we want. But that doesn't look too bad. But if, you know, if you get it too thick, take your brown and just kind of come alongside it and it'll kind of mute it out a little. We are going to add a Christmas tree here. We're going to add a walkway. So um, on our walkway, I'm just going to do it uh, lots of snow and some glitter. So I'm going to darken this up. It would not be perfect, right? This is a, oops, oops, emergency. If you have a baby wipe, that'll take that right off. Or I'm just using my paper towel, which isn't ideal, but... I don't have a baby wipe handy. There was a guy that posted on Facebook Market that was selling old stained glass windows. Were they expensive? I bet they were. Thank you, Rosie. We're not done. I hope I hope you guys like it. You can always come back in here and put tufts of snow, you know, some big thick pieces here and there. Let's see. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I want to put a wreath. So let's grab another small brush and put a wreath up here. I'm going to get out some forest green. That's a lot of green. I didn't really need very much. I bet they were. And I am going to dot it because since I'm not using a trace or anything, I need to kind of make a good circle. That's not a great brush. Hold please. So I'm going to take this and kind of dot it so I know, you know, you can trace something round, but there will be the top and that'll be the bottom. And just kind of make a circle with my little dots to keep me in line, right? So then you're just going, uh, let your brush make a mark kind of all the way around. And this is gonna make our wreath. I just do them all which a ways going turning my brush, but letting the brush do the work. You know, you're just putting it down and just barely twisting and you've got your wreath shape. And if you want to do more, just come back on the inside a little bit and put a few more going different ways. Now I'm going to take that green, put it over here with some white and we'll go back on top of what we just did. You don't have to go right on top. You can kind of, you know, just start putting it on top, if that makes sense. So I'm not worried about it if I'm on the exact little same leaf. I'm just putting it right on top of what I just did. And that will give you dimension. There. Oh, Christy, thank you. That goes to her, so she will appreciate that. For sure. Any stars you give today will be going to Deborah, of course. We are here as her. Okay, let's do, um, we'll let that dry and we'll put some berries in it. I think I'm going to do another little round of 
Do I want a little gold in here? I think I do. I'm going to take, let me picture it. Hold on. Hold, please. No, I don't. I think I want some white in this window. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to use gold in here. And so I think the yellow would not look good. But we're going to have some light with the white. Just trust me. Trust me, guys. I think it will be cute. I've done lots of chapels, and um, I looked for the one I did with glass and couldn't find it. I don't know. I've got some stuff packed away, so no telling. But I was going to show you all that. So anyway, we're just putting in some bits of white, or you can use any color you choose. Every part just comes alive. Awesome. That's what I want. Hi, Judy. Thank you so much. So we're going to take some more white, add it to this light green, and now we're going to get it even lighter. Sometimes I'll use white as a highlight, but what I really love to do is just really lighten up whatever color I'm using so that it's not white, but it's like a really pale green white, if that makes sense. Just super, super light. And then that will be my last highlight color. And I'm not worried about where this is going. As you can see, I'm just getting it on. So every which away. But then that does give it a lot of depth to have the different colors. Okay, I'm going to take black on this little brush. And we're going to give a little bit of outline to our door. I added water to it to thin it out so that... It's not a big heavy line. You can also use like a micron pen or paint marker, but you can get the same effect with a very thin detail brush. This is my favorite set of detail brushes. And if you take care of them and don't leave them in water like I do, then you'll, you'll have better luck. And then we need doors. So instead of the round door handle, I just picture this kind of like that. Just kind of an up and down. I think we could lighten that door up just a tad. Let's uh, get that flat brush again. Take a little of our brown, mix it with some white. It's a lot of white. And let's put some of this in it. I am going to take some brown kind of over it. So just get some brown on your brush and then work it out. Like I don't, I offload it a lot and then just kind of go over what I just did and smooth it out a little. But this is going to really lighten it up. Up and down motions. It just seemed too dark and like kind of dreary, so we lighten it up. And the snow would be having it have a reflection anyway, right? Thank you, Susan. Appreciate it. I'm happy y'all are here. I really was hoping that y'all would. I know there's lots of things to see today, but we got to help her, right? And so I'm glad y'all are choosing to spend a little time here. I am just going to add some more line to the church. I'm kind of trying to decide as I do it how much. I think I'm going to try to match the roof color for this outline I'm going to do. So somewhat match the roof color. So again, work that into your brush back and forth and get it to where you've got a nice clean line and you can just use your flat brush. So we've only used a couple of brushes today. Oh, 
and some white. I don't have any clean white. Okay. Now, if this is dry, and it is, we are going to fix our windows and let's put a few little berries on our wreath. Oh, I do have that pink. So I'm just going to use the back of my brush. Let's see, that's how big it'll be. But if you have a dotting tool, you know, like one of these, you can use those. Those work great for that. I just always have used the back of my brush and put, I put them in threes. Like so. For my windows, I think it'd be pretty to use our gold paint pen. So let me just press that down and be sure it's got ink. Yep. And your paint has to be 100% dry. So be sure it's all dry. If it's not, it will ruin your paint marker. But I'm just going to outline our windows. I know uh, church windows are not typically like outlined in gold, but this is just whimsical. So we're doing it. That's another thing I love about whimsical paintings is you can use any colors you want. Nothing has to be uh, like real life. And then let's make, so I like to go about up the middle and then split off like that. And one, two, this one, may not be too exact but not bad now does that windows kind of come alive what do y'all think let's do a little Christmas tree streets aren't paved in gold that's right Brenda ooh good point oh my goodness I love that um so for the Christmas tree I'm gonna make a little bit of darker for my very first layer. So I'm taking some of this green and adding, I guess we'll use, I was going to add brown, but I'll add a little black too because I don't have a lot of brown on my palette. If you'll just add a dark brown or a little tiny bit of black, you can get a really dark green, kind of like an army green or a pine green. And that's what I want for the base of this tree. I'm going to show you a simple, simple tree. Um, just start, you know, wherever you want it. You can kind of have it come off the page and make a point where you want it and then kind of over here and over here and then just kind of one, two, three, four, you know, go all the way down. Like so. Your brush is just making the shape, so you're just helping it down the down the row. Then wipe my brush off to get the dark off and grab some of that lighter green and go right back on top. One, two, three, four, you know, like that. And then again with lightening it up with some white. Thank you, Sydney. And then just touch it. All the way down. I'll put a few in the middle, just kind of however, like so it's not perfect, perfect. And then again, add more white. Get it really light. And we will add that last. I'm taking off most of the paint. I don't want a ton. 
and then just tap tap I'll show you what I mean about doing the middle I'll just kind of see how I'm just kind of coming down and sort of straight down like they're not going either way they're just kind of coming down okay then we'll do the tree base simple simple tree thank you guys appreciate you being here and being sweet just a little brown and I am going to add a little snow on our tree just by blobbing it so just kind of take that brush and just blob it I mean that's a very technical painting term to just blob it but we know it collects on those branches so. and then of course a little bit down you don't want it to look weird so just little bits kind of on the tree that's it y'all I did not, Brenda, they are missing in action, but I did find, I mean, I knew I had these in my other room, so I did go get these, and now they're in here, and um, they best not disappear, but yeah, I didn't, oh, thanks for the hearts, guys, thank you, Deb, thanks, Susan, and Sydney, okay, let's just take a look, we just kind of take a look and evaluate what we need, I know I'm going to put some glitter here, um because i don't think we have time for resin i think it's just taking me longer than i thought it would i've been on almost an hour um let me think what do we what does it need do y'all see something maybe another window right here maybe like a little round window what do y'all think let me know if you think i think it could use something up here i want a cross we were going to do the cross should the cross be gold to kind of tie in that gold? What do y'all think of that? Gold or white or brown, like wood. Yes, Susan, that's what I'm saying. What, what, tell me what color. Gold, white, or brown. Have to go live, Susan. gold gold okay all right we all like the gold I do think in that case I might need to line I think I do need to line everything what did y'all say about the window do we need a window or something here or no maybe I just need to it looks funny to me. Y'all let me know. I think I usually put something there. You're 98 away from 4,000. Wow, that's awesome. How long have you been going live? It took me forever. I'm still, I grow very slow. Snow on the roof. Oh yeah, snow. I was gonna I was gonna do snow. Thank you for saying that. I was gonna sprinkle some snow um around. Perfect as is. Really? Hmm. So take a coarse brush. This one's not bad. Let me see. I like I like this type, like a boar's head brush. Just looking to see what I have. This wouldn't be too bad. Um, something that you can flick or a toothbrush, you know, things like that. And I will just water down some paint and grab. So get your white paint. I wish I had fresh water. This is probably going to be colored. And I am going to get water on it from my little cup and get it liquidy. Now I'm going to have to be careful or I'm going to really overdo it. 
and then you can take it and kind of dot it like tap your hand and it will kind of come off on your palette. Can y'all see that? And I'm trying to be more gentle because I can really be, have a heavy hand with this. And I like that. That's sweet. Okay, the snow is cute. Y'all like the snow? Oh, Tina, thank you for the stars. Now those go to um, to Deborah, so she will appreciate it. I appreciate that though. Sweet, sweet. What does it need, friends? Do y'all see anything I'm missing? Oh, I know what I was gonna do. The micron pen forgetting so that's the last thing I do sometimes is I'll go over things with a micron pen I am gonna just touch this with the heat gun so I don't smear what we just did with the snow you like the splatters I do too thank you Oh, should I put some snow, like, on the roof? You know, like, like if there was a ledge? That might be a smart idea. Let's just take a look at that. I think that's not a bad idea here. I hope this doesn't ruin it, but I could kind of have snow collecting up here. You know, where it's kind of hanging off the roof a little and kind of collected up here. I'm just kind of tapping going down just tap 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 and so it's very imperfect you don't want it to look like a line y'all like that I saw one little lone heart somebody likes it <laughs> I like that. Put some on that little wreath like it's collecting up on that wreath. They don't have an awning, do they? Okay, that's it. All right. Now, here's something fun to do. Take your snow text and add snow. So we're just going to, you can use a craft stick. You don't have to use your fingers. I like to use my fingers. I get it kind of get it how I want it, kind of smear it around. But you can use an old brush or craft stick. But this is going to give us a lot of dimension. Is anybody going to try this and paint, try to paint one? I think my VIPs are probably done with me because I was live with them last night. I'm live here and many of them are here and then I'm going to be live with them again at two o'clock in the group. So they're probably like, oh, so tired of her. Okay. Oh, I love that dimension. I'll hold this up. So one sec, I'm getting that off my finger so I don't get it everywhere. Can y'all see it better if I hold it up? Yes. Okay. Love the dimension that that gives. And you can definitely put that everywhere. I know you say that, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead. Why not? And add it to the roof. I just kind of roll it on there. Get a little bit and kind of roll it around till you get it how you want it. 
I leave certain pieces, just little parts kind of puffy and other ones can be kind of just smeared with it. It just looks really realistic like snow. And it's just fun too. If you have kids or grandkids, I would probably make it if I had kids. I wouldn't buy this. Um, and you can make it with white sand, white paint, and a little bit of clear glue, Elmer's or whatever kind of, you know, tacky glue, anything that's clear, and make your own. Oh, I like that. That, that gave us a lot of dimension, didn't it? And just kind of adds a fun element. And then, why not? Keep going. Let me hold that up again. Do y'all like the snow added? Dollar Tree speckle. Yeah, you can use that, Celeste. Yeah. Oh, good, Donna. And you're not tired of me, Kim. <laughs> okay, now I am going to do a little micron work pen work and I do kind of a sketchy like I, I'll even kind of scribble so I kind of you know make it very sketchy when I do this like that very imperfect you can even go over the rows if you want to in your roof just really personal preference you may not like this at all don't do it but I on whimsical paintings it's just kind of fun to add um, and I do this on mixed media, so it just feels kind of natural to do it on these kind of things. But some people would not like it. Now I'm going to go outside of my gold a little bit. Try. See the difference? So I don't know, you may like it, you may not. In fact, y'all let me know, do you like it, you know, with the pen or no? It's obviously too late for me, but I'm just curious if y'all do like it or not. Your, this is what I was telling you, your paint has to be 100% dry or you'll ruin your marker. Our door is already lined, so I really don't have to do anything on the door. But I will put a few swipes in the tree, avoiding my snow text so I don't ruin my marker. And then let's do diamond dust there. You can put a few in your roof. It ain't going to hurt anything to just put some... I do this also, just kind of I also put white on those berries and I didn't do that. And my little trick on the berries is, you know, if you don't have a small enough brush or you don't have a, you know, you're afraid to do it, just 
put a little white paint on a toothpick and just tap tap see I mean just you don't need hardly any and then highlight those little berries like that we can even highlight the door handle a little bit Diamond dust was the other thing I was going to do. And then we're done. We are done after this. Just a little Mod Podge, or you can use white school glue. You know, anything will work. And an old brush. Thanks, Patty. Thank you, Deb. Thanks, Donna. You like the pen? Oh, good, Karina. I'm so happy y'all will try it. Just, oh, I'd l well, Deborah also would love to see your work. So, um, put it wherever she has you put it. You know, like she may have a place that she asks you guys to post your pictures of your work. I have the Art and Craft Showcase. It's a free group where you can post your work. And um, so, post it everywhere you want to. We'd love to see it. So just get that glue on there and then sprinkle your diamond dust. I'm very liberal, liberal with it. Love diamond dust. If you have been curious about any of the products you've seen me use, they're all on my link tree. Just go to my page and linked at the top, you'll see and you can go to my website, which has a page with all my favorite products, how to get there, like Amazon and, and that kind of thing. Oh, look. I love the diamond dust. Let me see if y'all can see what I'm seeing. Let's hold this up. There we go. I had to get that sparkle in there. See? Well, I can't thank you guys enough for being here for Deborah. For me and Deborah, and I appreciate it so much. And just in the next week, if you could watch one of our replays here and there, support the people that do come on to paint for her or do whatever they do, craft, um, that would be fantastic. I know she'll be so grateful, and we appreciate you being here. Both of us do. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye, guys. Thank y'all.